Ever since I got this office set up, I wanted to up my desk setup game. And working off of a laptop most of the time, a 15 inch MacBook Pro, I wanted something that was functional, but also let me leave the setup and use my laptop. It took me forever to get everything situated. Luckily it's done though, and just in time because a lot of us are working from home right now. So like I said, my main computer is the 2018 MacBook Pro. I'll leave all the specs down in the description, but so far this machine has been great. Haven't really had any problems with it, including the keyboard still works fine. And although sometimes I wish I had more power, definitely the portability and just ease of taking it with me everywhere is great to have. But when I'm not on the go, I have my setup here. There's really only one criteria that I absolutely needed and wanted with this setup, and that was a one cable plug-in. So I take my MacBook to work, I bring it home, I don't wanna plug in a bunch of stuff, one cable, and I'm done. And I've done that here, and it's pretty much all thanks to this dock. This is the CalDigit Thunderbolt dock, and it really makes everything I have plugged in here possible. Without this, I don't know what I would do. It has an SD card reader, a headphone jack, USB-C and A ports, ethernet, everything that I need is here. So when I go to edit a video, I plug in my drives here, or I plug in my headphones, transfer through SD cards. All of that is right here in front of me instead of having to route it to my laptop, which I have on an Ikea drawer over here. I never use the laptop as a laptop at home so I don't need it taking up space. It lives over here and again, just one cable for everything. It's kind of crazy what Thunderbolt can do, but I've had no issues plugging in drives, plugging in speakers, like pretty much anything. It all works and with no issue, it gives me exactly what I was looking for. This whole setup has kind of been mangled together after years, really. I mean, all of this stuff has been accumulated over years and I kind of finally put it all together to work really seamlessly. Now over here, I also have my Synology NAS where I store all of my footage and a bento stack organizer. And I keep my iPad here on top of the MacBook Pro and it's you know easy to access and pick up. And this all sits on top of this Alex drawer unit, which as you can tell, is pretty old and has been through a lot. But I use this to pretty much hide all the mess. Now on the actual workstation, I have things that I have been using for months and years, really. The desk is just from Ikea, I'll leave that, and again, everything else linked below. But the monitor is probably my favorite part. It's from the BenQ PD series, and what is great about it is one, it's Thunderbolt, it's 4K, and it is very color accurate. So I can you know, edit all my footage, edit photos, all that kind of stuff, and I can trust that I'm seeing something relatively accurate. Now, I would love for this to be a Pro Display XDR, and maybe someday, but for now, you know, money. For speakers, I have the tried and true Yamaha HS5 monitors, and they're great. I mean, there's really not much to say about them. These have been out for a while. I'm not a huge headphones person, especially here in the studios, so having a good set of speakers really comes in handy. But this is all connected through the Scarlett 2i2, another tried and true. I also have my favorite keyboard and mouse here, which I've talked about before, the Keychron K2 and the MX Master 3. These are a 100% recommend. If you're thinking about buying a new mouse or a new keyboard, definitely consider these. The keyboard is cheap, but it's good, and it makes me type faster. It made me understand why people love mechanical keyboards. I get it, I'm a believer, and I don't think I'm going back anytime soon. And the MX Master 3 is just the best mouse. If you're looking to buy the best mouse you can get, especially if we're doing things like editing and multitasking, just get this one. It's a little bit pricey, but it is 100% worth the money. And then the mat that it's sitting on is from Amazon, again, linked below. So like with the rest of the office, this whole thing is kind of dynamic and able to move. So the plants or the things on the wall, those I can take off easily and move somewhere else. Like I could put on a shelf or something and it makes me not have to buy as much stuff for like decorating because I could just use the same props depending on where I'm filming. So that Cybertruck poster, it hangs there when I'm not using it, but when I want it in a shot, I pull it off and put it wherever I need it. That's probably the best way I've found to have some cool stuff that looks good, but also not have to have a bunch of clutter and most importantly, not have to spend a ton of money because I just kind of use the same stuff everywhere. So the brick, I'm still torn on. I can still see myself in like two months ripping it all down and doing something else. But I wanted, you know, a little bit of a different texture, something new and something easy. This is just brick wallpaper. It was super easy to put up. I did in like an hour. There's no actual texture of rocks, but from a distance, you can't really tell, I don't think. And it looks okay. It's not my favorite thing, but it gives me something different compared to the rest of the office. 
Real quick, before I continue, I wanna thank this video's sponsor, Clean My Mac X. So this software lets you find and clean big files and lost files that you may not know are accumulating space on your computer. You can also update, uninstall, and reset apps with it. There's a menu bar utility that lets you quickly check the status of your computer overall, whether it's CPU or storage. And you can get personalized cleanup tips depending on your system from the smart assistant that's built in. And there's also many other categories that you can get help with, whether that's protection from malware, speed, or just cleaning up your Mac. And really, this is just a nice app to have because after a while you start to accumulate junk, things start to build up. So being able to just delete things that you don't need, don't use, and that are just taking up space, something like Clean My Mac X does that very well. So if this is something you'd like to try, check out the link down in the description and use the code GONZALEZ10 to get 10% off your purchase. All you have to do is scroll down to the bottom of the page, enter the code, and then select Clean My Mac X, and you'll have those reduced prices. Now, there are also some other apps that I use all the time that really make this setup helpful. One of the game changers is called SoundSource. This is a utility that lets you control the audio on your Mac in a bunch of different ways. But the main reason that I got this is because it lets you control the speakers through your keyboard keys. Now, if you're using a laptop or headphones or anything plugged directly into the Mac, you're used to that. But when you're using an audio interface, you usually can't use those keys on your keyboard. This solves that, it works perfectly, another 100% recommend. And another app that I'm just surprised is not built into macOS yet is called Magnet. So this lets you snap windows to the edges or go full screen. It really makes window management that much easier. It's something you can do natively in Windows 10. I just don't understand why it's not built in already, but since it's not, Magnet is the way to go. So that's pretty much all I have for this workstation. It took a while to get everything together, and you know, honestly, I'm still not 100% on the design. Like with pretty much everything else I do, this is a work in progress and things will change. I'll adjust and do different things depending on kind of what my mood is. But for now, this works extremely well. It's 100% functional for what I need and it makes working at home that much more enjoyable.